Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech the Campaign. I'm your host Colors Fade. It's episode 38. And we are here on the star map. We just did a mission in the system. In this system, Gerondas. There's a there's a this Brisbane. But there's a couple more missions I'd like to do here. In this system that are gonna pay really well. So we have to just this to get these two guys back in back in working order okay now let's see Argo ship improved library the marauder is ready to go in eight days we're going to do that Network orders complete, boss. we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing think. some ship upgrades here if she does what is this worth four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for an upgraded lounge purchase that keep boosting morale but then what we're gonna do is Go through, our Marauder is going to be ready to go. Oh, melee in the mech bay. You're speaking to Yang in the mech bay when the yelling starts. Across the bay, a pair of your mech warriors face off in front of a battle mech. You get there just as Behemoth pulls back to throw a punch at Medusa. Argo, training module. Send them to settle things in the simulators. You raise your voice and both mech warriors turn to you. Behemoth's fist relaxing. If you mech warriors have a dispute, go settle it in the battle pods. Frankly, you both need to practice. The mech warriors grumble and wander off. You hear later from Yang that the sim battle between Behemoth and Medusa drew a huge crowd. Those warriors both treated their sim battle like a real war, boss, and by the end of it, I think they kind of forgot what they were fighting about. Hundred experience for each one. That works. So we're going to go do an assassination mission, and we're going to take our, our headshotter. And I don't know if I have the right tool set up for the job or not on this, so we're going to find out. You guys are probably all laughing at me, saying, you set the Marauder up completely wrong for headshotting. I haven't done any research on this. That's why. So uh, There's an assassination here. A member of the Torian chain of command in Gronus has been troubling us. We need to irk some operative eliminated. I'm hoping that there's going to be a good mech out of this. I don't know. We're going to take the 312 <coughs> salvage on this and then uh what i'm gonna do is <clears throat> let's see i'm gonna probably replace the highlander i guess because the banshee has what banshee's got a ppc lrm 20 and an ac 20 and this has a bunch of lrms in the ppc if this is this had a gulch rifle i'd keep it i want medusa to stay on the stalker because he can do so much damage um, we're gonna swap Let's see. Let's take Paladin out and give somebody else some more experience. Ken Lee, you need some experience. We're going to put you in the Zeus. <clears throat> and then Glitch is going to be here and we're going to give her the Marauder. Um, and I don't know if this is a wise decision or not to do any of this. I, I really like the, the four mechs I had set up. But we're going to try this. We're going to see how this works out. Oh, what is this? Yeah, so that's the Highlander I just took out. That's not my good Highlander. And this is, what is this? Oh, that's the Grasshopper. It's like Highlander Jr. That's why. They both got the square head. <clears throat> okay. Let's see how this works. I want Glitch to get a really good shot with that weapon. It's got an AC-20 on it. And it's got the module that makes it higher percentage shot she, what I want to put on that Marauder is a Gauss rifle but we only have the one Gauss rifle and I'm not taking it off the Zeus <laughs> we need to get to the black market in the next system over to look for a Gauss rifle for it so that's what we're gonna do after this mission I only want to take this one mission because it's an assassinate mission and that means odds of getting something decent <clears throat> are pretty good the Tarian target is believed to be here. That looked nice. It looked like a nice mech. Clean up the other ones. We get a bonus. The destroy the supporting Tarian forces. I should have taken a little bit longer when they show their mech and try to guess what that is. This is this is difficult because if you go in this direction, you're really at a disadvantage for height. And without jump, here's the zone line. So there's no way to crawl up this wall. There's no way to get up there. With, even with jump jets, you'd need medium mech so you could jump that far, and I'm not even sure they would get that far. <clears throat> so, we're really in a situation where we have to go this way. 
And you can go up here, try to engage these guys up here, and then he's going to come from this direction. Um, or we can do kind of the smart thing and come down here. <clears throat> and I say the smart thing. I don't know that this is a smart thing. I'm guessing. I think this is going to be the smart thing. And the thing that I think is going to be the smart thing about this is we're going to be able to put our stalker in the water here and just kind of have him sit here. So. I copy. On my way. That thing's going to be right there. So the stalker, I'm just going to kind of be like, stay here in the water. You need to be cool. Standing by. Roger that. Still not there. Wow, I thought we'd see that. Position confirmed. Got it. I'll do what I can. Where are these guys at? I expected them to come down the hill any minute now, but they're not down yet. <clears throat> so, Good to go. Banshee with the weapons. Can you get up here? Reporting. Enemy contact. Zeus. Uh, yeah, I want you to come up and get in this next pool of water. Okay, so we have the big dude, and he's a heavy. <clears throat> and here comes the other mechs, finally. So they're going to come and flank us, which is no good. Um, reserve. He's a heavy with jump jets? Uh, okay, well. Got something you want done? Yeah. Banshee with weapons. Well, I guess let's get up and close and personal. What is it? Thunderbolt? What is it? What is it? It's a Thunderbolt. Okay. Alright, well. You've got really good weapons here. AC-20, PPC, LRM. Poke a hole in him. And these guys are like, whoa, the primary target's being damaged. <clears throat> um... Ready. Get I don't it know what I do. I don't want to attack this. Medusa. Is that is that water? Yeah, it is. It's a blue dot. Okay. Well, launch everything and weaken him. And then we can poke him in the head. It's like the fourth of July. More mechs coming. Okay, glitch. Can you see him from there? No. Can you get up close enough to see him? You can if you move, and then you can shoot him next turn if he's still alive. <clears throat> see, so it's units standing in the spar field suffer from additional damage. Plus four difficulty to hit units passing through. So that's why if you're standing in it, you get the little, the little red thing that looks like a coronavirus. And if you pass through it, you get the big red thing that looks like a coronavirus. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure the BattleTech people would have changed that icon a year ago <laughs> if this game came out today. Uh, all right, so just shoot him. Targeting for an alpha strike. Okay. The target is retreating. Commander. Retreating. Eliminated before it escapes. Where does it think it's going? Where does it think it's going? I like the way that that Zeus looks with that paint job. Oh my goodness. They always go after my Zeus. I know it's this I know it's the sexiest one I have. <clears throat> Glitch. Okay, honey. This is this is your job. This is your whole job. This is why we brought you. Let's Oh, you look great in that thing, by the way. That just, oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Wow, look at that. I didn't adjust your paint job or anything. That just looks badass. That's like the default mode. Okay, in the head. What's it got? Headshot, 35%. Do it. Well, that was beautiful. No escape from you. Okay. 
It's like a 1 in 3% chance, man. That's awesome. Get to the evac zone. So here's what we can do now. Say, uh, Zeus, I don't want you to get pummeled. So, Banshee, can you see... Eighty tonner. Well, there's going to be more salvage here. Good to go. <clears throat> Kinley, what do you got? If you go where? If you go right there, you can see it. Okay. What can you see? You see a phoenix off. Oh, very nice, very pretty. Um, I'm going to give you vigilance because they're going to shoot a lot at you because you got that Gauss rifle. So, do it. Taking the shot. Medusa. Yeah. Just, yeah, Got that's it. not much of a movement for you, but guess what? You should be able to do some severe damage to that. No, oh, he didn't knock that thing over. That's surprising. <laughs> that Phoenix Hawk is like, I need to run. Oh, he shot at my Banshee. That's the best paint job on that Zeus. That looks so cool. Unknown mech, it's a 50 tonner. Okay, and they did shoot at the Zeus. Okay, glitch. <clears throat> Ken Lee. You are in the Zeus. Lich is right there, and she's like, eh. Here, Ken, let's move you to right there. That gets you two evasion. And all you can do is shoot your LRM at it. Okay. And now he's knocked over. That last glass of wine did it. Now he's tippled over. Uh, reserve her. Let's see what this... Let's see what this uh, assault mech is. Oh, it's is it a car? It's a vehicle. Oh. Ready for orders. Can you see it? Can you see it anywhere? Any way that you move? I don't see how you can see it yet. But if you move there, you got a really good shot at somebody, don't you? Who's this? It's a trebuchet. You have really bad shots at it. Um, let's not waste your AC-20 on it and just shoot your stuff. At least you can see it now, which means that next turn... Oh, oh, it's a Shrek PPC carrier. Medusa? It's probably a good idea if you kill that, but the thing is, I don't know. I don't know how many LRMs you have to shoot at it. It's got 450. It's got a bunch of snub PPCs. Yeah. Okay. Shoot three of them at it, and shoot one at the other one. Your LRM 20s at it. So it's vulnerable. Glitch can probably kill it. <clears throat> Easy. Glitch, you can see it? You can kill it? Okay, good. Lichtenstein. Yeah. Oh, you can't. You can only kill him. Oh, bummer. Should have paid a little more attention there. Well, since it's an assault, we're, one of us should get a go before it. I think. Trebuchet. Now I will shoot all my stuff at you. Glitch. Now you get another shot. Let's see. Can you get up there to shoot at? Can't, can you? You, you have no place to go where you can that's the best you can get so you can either shoot at that guy who fall down or you can shoot at him oh well what's the odds of hitting this guy in the face 
35. You got an AC 20 at 65%. Let's see. Hit him in the foot. You hit him in the foot and hit him in the foot. Well, at least he's knocked down. <clears throat> and the Phoenix Hawk is standing back up and saying, Oh, whoa, I need some Tylenol. That hurt. Now I'll take my sexy Japanese style of robot at you. It looks something like out. It just looks like something out of an anime to me. It looks so awesome. I love the Phoenix. It's my favorite looking one in the game. Medusa. I'm gonna make this easy for you. How many LRMs do you need to shoot at that guy to finish it? Let's be safe and hit him with three. Cause what is he now? Yeah, he's still got 295. Screw it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just shooting everything at him. Finish it off. There you go. Sometimes overkill is good. <laughs> Vehicle down. Good, good job. Then it doesn't get a shoot at us. What is this? Another vehicle? Oh, jeez. That one's like late to the show. Hey there. What are you if you go here? You're 90% to hit it with the PPC. Okay. I'm going to let you shoot the PPC at the guy on the ground. And then uh, you can shoot the other ones at this guy because you might do some real damage. Oh yeah. Right arm destroy. Tipsy turvy. Ken Lee. You must be up to you to kill these things. Let's see, what do you want to do? Oh, yeah. Shoot the Phoenix Hawk. Just nail him. Can you take his head out? 5% chance. Take his leg out. I think that might be it for the pilot because by the time he falls over, he might be done. He's already fallen over once. Nope, oh, he's going to get back up again. Okay. He's gonna, he's a, he's a Roberto Duran, man. He's just gonna get right back up again. Right. Diego Corrales. I will get up again. I don't know if any of you ever saw that, that uh, Diego Corrales fight where he got knocked down two times in the 10th round and then came back and won. But that is, that's the best boxing match I've ever seen. Those guys slugged it out. It was just just one of the most awesome slugfests I I think I've ever seen. Shoot the trebuchet and don't let him get back up. Commencing alpha strike. There you go. Should have run when you had the chance. Sixty tons. Waiting for orders. Of fun. What's up, boss? Ben Shi. You don't need your LRMs, just poke him. There you go. He is a tough little phoenix. Medusa. I just want you to shoot this guy. He's still hot. Oh, yeah. You don't even need to shoot all that, do you? Well, you don't need to, but. Enemy down. That is ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. That thing is just a bug zap. I like seeing those birds fly up. That was awesome. That was so cool. Come on, little car. We're gonna get somebody up here who's gonna see you. Ken, can you see it yet? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna sprint up there. Nobody can see it yet. Okay. Trench ourselves, glitch, reserve. Let's make this guy move one more time. He should be close enough now. Yep, there we go. Ken, come over here. No, 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 no. Right there. Straight in. You should just be able to drain this guy. Here. Spend all your stuff on it. 
Yeah, that way you get a high percentage chance for your Gauss rifle to hit. Copy that. Yeah. Because the Gauss rifle is going to destroy that thing. One for the scrap. Very nice. Alright. Let's see what our salvage looks like. Salvage, salvage, salvage. Excellent. All right, so we got the whole Thunderbolt because we hit him in the face. And actually, we only needed one of those to uh, complete it, so we're still going to grab the other two. Oh, there's an AC5++. plus plus plus. Um, I don't know when I'm going to use that. I'm up to AC20s now. I don't know when I would use this. It's really nice, though. Plus 4 accuracy, plus 20 stability damage. I'm gonna grab it just in case I need it for a small mech later. Besides, what are they gonna do? It's not like we're starving for money. That's awesome though. That was pretty cool. That worked out the way I wanted it to with that Marauder. I'm gonna be taking that thing on assassination missions. I don't know that I'll take it on a whole bunch more though. I mean, I'm not sure I would take that on every single mission. Thunderbolt, mech base. Alright, so this is the Thunderbolt here. Ah, I finally get one. It's 60 tons of heavy. So, hmm. I may have to tweak that thing at some point in time, but for right now. Let's see. Retribution. I don't want to do retribution. Data piracy is a capture base. Capture base. Heavy lure is a battle. Command of the Federated Sun is tracking an extremely heavy mech with pirate heraldry. This provocation is almost certainly bait for a trap. I'd like you to spring this trap, engage the heavy mech, intercept the forces local to the pirate organization. So this is kind of like an assassination mission. They call it the battle, but there's some kind of heavy mech there, but I, I don't want to do that. I mean, I, I actually really want to go do that mission, but I'm more interested in this right now. I want to go and so what do we have here? This is a long way away. It's 32 days. This one is 17 days. We're going we're to go to this black market because if we can get a Gauss rifle for the Marauder. I mean, the AC-20 did the job that time. But if you could get a Gauss for it, why wouldn't you? Those things are monstrous. Maybe the AC-20 is the best thing to do with it. I don't know. It seemed to work pretty good that time. We got her in close. 35% chance. Smacked him in the face. It was over. And that's the thing. That AC-20 does 120 damage and the Gauss rifle does like 75. I mean 120 damage in the face. Pretty much anything's going to die. Nothing has 120 uh, face armor. <laughs> Everything's got like 45. So uh, it may be fine to just leave her where she's leave that configured the way it is. Those upgrades you asked for are All right, we're gonna we're not gonna do any more upgrades for a while. I'd like to get to ten million dollars, and then she can do the gamma pod. If you were playing career mode, you'd want to rush that. I mean, I have five million dollars. I'd spend it right now because you need that. But. So what do we have? First off, let's take a look at their mechs in the black market. What I'm always looking oh see, so that look, Annihilator. This uh, the Annihilator is such a monster. It's such a monster. I want one of those. It's just a beast. Um what I'm looking for is yeah. They don't have they don't have any Highlanders. They got some nice see there's a Gauss rifle and it's three point nine million dollars. So here's what we're going to do. It's four million bucks. We're going to do missions in this, in this system. Well, we could sell some stuff, but let's do a couple missions first. We have things to sell. It's not like we don't have things to sell. We do. Oh, yeah, and there's a bunch of pirate missions here. Great. Okay. No cheap missions. Break out, attack, and defend. Yeah. Battle, straight up. This is a heavy mech battle. Take the bait. So... Let's do this. Battle in the Lowlands against the Capellan Confederation, who we've been working on raising our stuff on, but let's let's do this. There's, wait a minute, let's see what else there is. Blown operation is an escort. Fireworks is target acquisition. We are engaged in a delegate negotiations 
private manufacturer for pirate space, but we have reached an impasse. Our representative has requested a demonstration. Something dramatic, she said. So we turn to you. Your team will provide on-site assistance to target an abandoned pirate military base near the trade conference. We'll have a warship standing by to light it up dramatically. I've never had one of those missions. That sounds really cool. Target acquisition. Wow, I've never done that. Um, I don't know if I want to do that right now. I'm going to do this take the bait battle thing with the heavy mech first. I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab three of, three of 12. We're going to take the same people out that we had in case there's something to headshot with their Marauder. I want, I want more practice doing that. And managing the whole team with that Marauder as part of it. That's, that's part of the deal is... I get real comfortable with a certain four mechs. Um, but the first time I played through the game with, in campaign mode, I got really comfortable with an Atlas, two Highlanders, and a Stalker, and it just was like ideal. Um, both of the both of my Highlanders had Gauss rifles. My Atlas had a Gauss rifle and an AC twenty, and so it just. I just had this massive weapon, and le later on, I finally replaced the Stalker with a King Crab, which then had, I think it had. I think it had either two autocannon 20s on it and a bunch of LRMs, or it had two Gauss rifles and a bunch of LRMs. Either way, it was it, it just turned massive. So I got very comfortable with that. And this this group of mechs is a little different for me. So move up, try to flush out the hostile mech. <coughs> Never seen anything like this before. Trees? What are you talking about, Medusa? There's uh, this pond down here. So we will move down into this direction and try to make use of this water. Coordinates received. In our sexy black and red, oh my gosh, these are just the sexiest looking mechs with this paint job. It's fantastic. So the Capellan Confederation, let's see what we can do with these turkeys. Let's see who they're bringing us. Roger that. Nobody there yet. My mechs are like, hey, hey, hey. Um, you know they're moving toward us, right? Good. They're there. They finally shut up. Okay. Let's get them over here now that we know where they are. What is that mech? Okay, here comes that turkey this is it's an 80 ton vehicle what what Good to go. what it's a vehicle and not a mech it's a heavy thing I thought they said it was a heavy mech that's just a tank no. um, let's just sit here for a turn and wait for them to get closer Locust. I've got something. Got a mech down here. Don't know what it is. These have got to be probably medium mechs or light mechs. They're all moving before us. Could be heavy mechs. One of them is medium. Two of them are light. Glitch reserve. Let's see what this heavy vehicle does. It's gonna come a little closer to us. Yes, I don't want the Zeus out in front. Where's the Banshee? You can bomb that thing, can't you? But that's like the best you can do. Okay. Move into position. Well, take some, peel some evasion off of it. Yes, because that's <coughs> that's how we do things. Ken Lee, can you see this thing yet? You can't. Okay, I thought maybe if you moved up there, you could see that. You can't. No problem. So we'll keep him over way. here. What do you got? Oh yeah, you can kill this thing. Yep. You don't need your LRMs. Roger that. Okay, I take that back. You did. <laughs> you did. Um, Medusa. All you need to do is shoot this thing. Probably one group of LRM 20s would be enough. LRM 15 would have got the job done. I like that. Glitch. What can I do for 
Just uh, sit. Wait. We're gonna wait for this. We're gonna wait for these things to move up. We got a thirty ton mech and a fifty ton mech, so Shadowhawk or something. Trebuchet on our Zeus, which does not have any evasion. Okay, Trebuchet guy. You just signed your death warrant. Affirmative. Okay. Ken. What's up, boss? Yes, Commander. I want you. Can you take that thing out yet? Nobody can. What about you? What do you got? Okay, hold on. Waiting for orders. Shoot this thing. Shoot it all. Because that's the thing, even at 70%, it's going to be structure exposed, it's going to tear off a lot of his armor, and it's going to make it really easy for one of our other mechs here to finish it off. Zeus. Okay. Finish him. Knock down. Why do we fall back down? Why do we fall down? So that we learn how to pick ourselves back up. Unless the banshee shoots at you. And then you don't pick yourself back up. You just stay fall down. Glitch. Glitch or you do. Um, move right there. You might get a better shot. Because you can't move very much. So. That's the thing about some of these mechs in water. Don't move very well. You're jumping. That's fine. You're jumping. Hey, look at you. It's a javelin. Really? You thought that was a good idea? You know what happens if you poke the bear. Hey, it's a Shrek. It's the big PPC. That's the one that we blew up last time that I didn't want shooting on us. Okay, that hurt. Yes, I know. Yes, I know will do. Okay. Orders. Medusa. Oh, you need to move a little bit. Just need to go like this. And then do this. Shoot some at him and everything else at this turkey. Okay. Take a little bit of evasion off. He's javelin. He likes to shoot missiles. Now he can feel what it feels like on the other end. On the receiving end of that gift, it keeps on giving. Is he going to kill that thing? He did. Awesome. That's it. Destroy enemy units. Ooh. So it wasn't even a mech. Jeez. Okay. You come up here then and do your job. This is well. Okay, what would you like me to do? I have 60% on the PPC for him, 40% on the AC for him. I'll tell you what. Um, just shoot this thing. All right, let's oh, you missed with the big gun, and you missed with the other big gun. Alright, so what happened here is we had a little real life interruption and I had to stop recording and come back to this. So I'm going to try to remember where the heck I was. Destroy enemy reinforcements. There's a javelin. There's a javelin. Okay. Well, who do we have? We have Ken and we have the Marauder. She could take a punch. Got one of these javelins. Okay, this guy shoot first. My sexy Zeus. Hmm. None of these shots are good. But, yeah. Jeez, what do we do here? Let's do this. He's guarded, so we're going to do that. And that blows off his left arm. What can I 
glitch is going to come up here. Poke one of these in the head. Probably this guy. She can hit him with the PPC and she... Oh, well, here's what we're going to do. We're not even going to worry about it. Like this. You get a head See, it's done. You get a head <laughs> this will work. That's one of those awkward things about recording a video and then all of a sudden real life intervenes and you're like, oh god, I gotta stop my recording right now and I have to deal with this. And then you gotta come back to it a day later and you're like, um, I hear ya. where was I again? She can just shoot this thing, can't she? What if we do this? Just, there you go. Alright. These mechs sure look sexy in red and black though. Don't they? Mission successful. All right. <laughs> and what are we going to get here? There's a trebuchet that'll give us a completed one. It's two or three, so that completes that. We can complete a 10A javelin. And we can complete a 10A locust. So I'd rather complete both of those and be able to sell. All of them. That's why I'm going to do the salvage that way. We, it looks like it still gave us almost all of the mech pieces. So what we might do next is see if we can find a little short mission. Finalize the details for our trip to Archer. Ooh, yes. All these little tiny mechs that I don't care about, that I just want to sell. Let's go to the mech bay. Make sure one of them didn't squeeze in there. Okay, trebuchet, you can go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need you. Uh, Marauder, that. Probably Sentry, and I'm not sure we'll ever use. Kentaro, okay. Let's see what there is in this system for contracts. Oh yeah, what's our reputation like? trying to get the compelling confederation better so that by the time we finish the campaign we can go into their space very easily if that's if that's how that's affected i don't know uh, what else is there are there any good missions here breakout is an attack and defend that's going to take a while there's a quick assassination mission target acquisition which we haven't done yet blown operation which who's this get against the Tarian concord a quick assassination mission that would be nice mopping up see we need to make points with these guys the federated sons so we can do their higher up missions because here's the reason why you do get access to this space over here over here in this space system of the Torian concordant so they and the federated sons have an ongoing battle and then there, here's systems in the Federated Sun says travel restricted to there, but we're not restricted anywhere in here. So we could go to one of these other places. Laconus. There's not many pirate bases here. There's this one, Black Mark Store. That. We've been there. Brenton has some really tough challenges. Oh, that's not, that's a four skull system. Cool. We're just going to take this assassination mission really quick. Not break out. Attack and defend would be nice. Two and a half skulls is probably something good here. We're going to go take this assassination mission and try to finish it off. Finish this episode off. Maybe it'll go long. I've been playing a second, a third campaign now. Um, separate from this YouTube series and it's been very interesting. I lost um, Medusa. He, he died on a mission. I kind of, I kind of got a little overconfident and went. Well, I didn't. I don't know. That, I wouldn't say I got overconfident. I, I ended up on a bad map, and I knew it the minute I saw it. The reinforcement. It was an assassination mission where there were where there were ambushers and reinforcers, which is probably what we're gonna have here. And the problem was that the the dots on them 
these little dots here that show where these things were. They were almost on top of each other. I get to choose between Hellfire or a frozen. <laughs> and so my little my little band of four medium mechs had to fight nine mechs all at the same time and half of them were mediums as well and it just went sideways really fast. We're gonna go over here. Here's the zone wall. The hard deck. So we're gonna go in this direction. And we'll go take care of the ambushes. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. I don't, and that's why we're going to go along the edge of this wall so that we can position our faces in this direction. And then who are these guys? So there's a 75 ton well, mech. And there's a 55 ton mech, and a little mech, a 30 tonner. So this is, these are the supporting enemy forces and then the ambushers are way over there. Okay, let's get these guys. Waiting for order. Glitch, you gotta wait. So, reserve you. I'm, it's so weird that the Marauder, I'm used to dealing with the assault mix now and the Marauder's just a heavy, so. She, oh. And of course, the rule. Oh my God. One guy takes out three evasion because all my people are clustered together. Got something you want done? Ready for order. Huh. So Sly, she got the Banshee. Move there. Need the Banshee out in front. Because he's tougher. Okay, all you can do is shoot. So that works. Oh, nice. Kenley, you got the golf rifle. Locking in coordinates. What does this thing got? Right here. Left torso has the SR LRM and SRM ammo. Ooh, maybe you can hit that. Locked on with all weapons. Yeah, you got the arm. Okay. You don't have enough resolve yet to make it worth your while to do that pokey thing. And you should probably stay back here, actually. Why don't you back up a little bit? Got it. And then, uh, let's see, the Orion. We hit him right there. Two thunderous applause. Oh yeah. Good to go. Glitch, get over here and on my way. Poke him. Right. Let's see if he can hit his head. Affirmative. Head destroyed. Lethal damage. Nice. That's a kill. It is. Oh, Achievement awesome. unlocked. Beta strike. Oh, that's so cool. I love achievements. They're awesome. Beta strike. I gotta look that one up and see what that is. Here they come, a little 30 tonner. Another little 30 tonner. This be either. And it's a griffin. You can shoot my Marauder, but then she'll shoot you in the head. More stuff coming from this direction, I take it. Um, Waiting for order. I reserve her. Wonder if she can headshot that Griffin. Can you? Good to go. What if you headshot this Griffin? What are your chances? Thirty-five percent to headshot the Griffin. Okay. She did headshot him, but with the PPC, not with the good weapon. So. What's up, boss? Position confirmed. What do we have over here? We have a very evasive spider. A very evasive spider. And this dude. Okay, plow him. 
Oh, you missed with your AC-20? Really? Missing like that is just not... He's gonna keep backing up, except that isn't the way I want to back up. Yeah, just a little bit more. Like this. So we're gonna do this, and this. This is just to peel off evasion on these guys. Surprised that didn't finish him. Ready for order. Okay, Ken. Roger that. <laughs> oh my ghost rifle. What can you do? The ghost rifle's fifty five percent to hit him. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna because if he hits that thing, he's gonna he's gonna mar it really bad. Boom. Acknowledged. Oh, and he missed. Dang. Give him everything you've got. Because if he'd have hit that spider with that thing, it would have ripped off its side. And then the LRMs probably would have finished it off. Oh. Uh oh. Something long range is shooting at us. Well, we know there's supporting enemy for ambushers. How many ambushers? Three or four. Light damage, Commander. More. That could be a griffin. Showing minor damage. Oh, you think you're going to shoot my Marauder? Okay, glitch. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. What do you got? You got a 95% chance to hit him with the PPC. You got it. 20% chance, I mean 70% chance to hit this guy with the auto cannon. Got it. Oh my gosh, I'm missing with the auto cannons right and left. Systems recycling for another shot. Auto cannons and ghost rifles, and I'm just missing. Seventy percent is not enough today. Not enough to get it done. Okay, in that case, Medusa. Continue to scooch back. Let's see. You can plow him. You can hit him and you can take some off of him. So. Mm -hmm. Like that. He gets a 20 and a 15. This, should, this could kill this guy. Not quite. That'll remove any last evasion he has. Good to go. Acknowledged. Ken can plow him, or he can plow him, or he can split. Kind of. Let's do this. Laser on the the little spider. Pilot incapacitated, I like that. Waiting for orders. Okay, Banshee. You got AC twenty is a ninety percent chance to hit him. Which means you probably don't need the LRMs on him and since they're gonna be forty five percent chance to hit everybody. Or a forty percent chance to hit this. Oh, I can't because I didn't turn enough. Well, Christ! All right. <laughs> I shouldn't have shot everything else. 
cranky. Now we're gonna sit through another round of LRM shooting at us. <laughs> this guy is like, I'm running out of here. All I gotta do is provide line of sight for my buddies. Because we got like, what, three things with LRM shooting us? So in this situation, we want to turn around and we want to kill that <coughs> locust as, or that spider as fast as we can, because then they'll be forced to come close to see us, to shoot at us. And that might give us a turn also to just run around and, and get rid of some heat, although we haven't, we're not having a heat problem in this biome, Commander? which um, there is the thought that you could just go over here and shoot at this guy, but I'd like to give you a higher chance right, to hit commander. first. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> you might. There's 270 rounds yet. Um. Here's what I'm gonna do. There's no reason to shoot everything, save them for the big guns. Just take some of his evasion. Out. That. I mean, yeah, you can launch the whole wad at him, and even with the low percentage chance to hit, you probably would have killed him. Probably. You got a low percentage chance with that AC twenty set, that AC twenty, and it's set. You only have seven rounds left. Forget it. Um, yeah, fire this. Ken, how many rounds do you have? 13? Location confirmed. I don't want you to shoot the Gauss, just shoot some LRMs. And that's going to give Glitch a really good chance here to finish it off. It. She can spend the precise strike on this. I don't care about anything but hitting its body. It. Yeah, there we go. It's not a head. We're not head hunting those. So now they got to come closer. That's a griffin. She's in jump jets. It's got LRM shoot at us. It's a griffin. That's probably a spider. Let's see. Who's... Well, reserve you. Anybody else moving? Standing by. Banshee can get close enough to see who that turkey is. I don't really want to do that. Here's what I want to do. Oh, that gets us close enough too. Can we kill it? If we move up there, do we have a chance to kill it? Let's find out. What is it? It's a javelin. We got pretty good two chance hit there. I'm not gonna use precise strike on him, but we got four people. Odds are we can kill this thing. So that they don't have a chance to waiting for to see through him and shoot at us. Location confirmed. Uh, so man, I don't want to waste my LRMs. He's gonna run out. We gotta save him for the main dude. Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. Ken, you can probably kill this thing. I get you. And if On you can't, move. she may be able to headshot it. Got 13 rounds left. Finish him off. Acknowledge. There we go. Target eliminated. That's why we love your Gauss Rapid Glitch. We don't need anything from you except for you to just right, get a little closer for a shot. Buckle down. Oh, they're light mechs. There's a javelin. I thought one of those was a griffin for sure. Hm. Okay, they're both light. Wow, I keep forgetting those javelins can actually... Those javelins can toss that much... 
that many missiles out of you. Oh, and then there's something shooting at us from a long way. The main target. Which has... LRMs, okay. Glitch. What if we put you up here? Can you headshot this guy? 35%. Oh, with the PPC? Eh, okay, do it anyway. That's the leg shot. Receiving you. Medusa says. Shoot at both of them. Oh, it can't though. Still can't see the other one. Okay. Do this. Tear tear some off. Right light destroy. Ken can see them both now. Um, Affirmative. Should have had him move first, but I like to get a guy down on the ground to use his stuff. Let's do let's do this multi-target. Shoot him with laser if he gets lucky and hits him in a vulnerable spot. He can kill that guy on the ground. Copy that. Not quite. Well, it's still got stuff blowing up. Reporting critical hit. Commander. Affirmative. What do you got there, Banshee? You got sixty-five percent to hit him with your auto cannon right there. Okay. Do it. Multiple enemies locked in. Ooh. There you go. Target Two targets left. A javelin and something else. Oh, really? You're just going to guard yourself and let him shoot the LRMs at us? Nice. Well, that's what I do. Because <laughs> the, the enemy knows... The javelin is not going to live very long, but if he can provide line of sight. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Confirm. Can you hit him? Ah, oh, you still have a really low chance to hit, don't you? Do this. Scored a critical hit. Ready for orders. Zeus can finish him off. Man, that's a low percentage shot for the Gauss rifle. Um, I still have 11 ammo. Just fire it. Oh, God. Keep thinking. This is going to be it. We're going to finish him off. Nope. She's got six rounds left. How close does she have to need to be? It? Oh, there you go. Moving to position. Right there. There we go. Every time I see this pilot incapacitated, I think it's saying pilot decapitated. <laughs> when it looks like it hits him in the head. Pilot decapitated. Okay, where is this turkey? There it is. It's a 65 ton mech. Glitch reserve. Let's see who can see him first. You can. What do you got? It's a Thunderbolt. One of our favorites. Um, he's going to shoot at us, and you're going to be the closest one. So before you do anything, do that. Medusa, we've been saving you for this moment. It's a party. I invited all my friends. I invited all my friends. Okay, Glitch, you get one chance to do this. If you don't pull it off, the Gauss Rifle's just gonna blow them up. 
Headshot it. Oh, you can't get close enough, can you? Dang it. Okay. You're not close enough for the AC-20. And I can't see where that landed because of the trees. Got something you want done? Ken, we could try it with you. What are you to hit this thing? You're 5%. No, we're just going to shoot with you then. Just shoot. That'll knock him over. One of the things I don't know is when he's on the ground and you have a certain percentage chance to hit a body part, does it spatially make it more difficult because like his legs or his armor in the way? Or is it just a dice roll? I kind of wish I knew the answer to that. Because I feel like what I should be doing is letting them stand up so I have a better chance at shooting them in the head. Um, that's just that's my thought process right there. Glitch. What's this right here for you for headshot? And what's this? That's as good as it gets. You're at 95%. With a 35% chance to hit him in the head. Bingo! Oh, she did a beautiful thing. Awesome. We should get all of that. Wow. Does that sound to everybody? I like the sound of that. It sounded... Kaboom, right in the face. I am liking the Marauder. I have to give credit to, uh, I believe it was Ken who said, uh, get the Marauder and headshot things. So if it was, if it was Ken, you can take credit for that in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got, oh, we got a bunch of stuff. We got Orion and then we got the Thunderbolt. You know what? I'm going to choose the Orion. Yeah, let's see what else we got. That's all we get. Oh. I wish they aren't going to give us any more of those mech parts. Man. And see, you can. I don't think I've ever seen a mission where you can get six parts. You can claim six parts. Because we could have got two full, nice, heavy mechs there. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. That was pretty good. The Orion K, first true heavy mech. All right, we're very briefly going to take a look at this. What is this? The Orion. It's got an AC-10, a bunch of lasers, SRM, LRM. I'll reconfigure that. I would reconfigure it for just an auto cannon and probably some LRMs, but that's pretty cool. So, all right, folks, that's going to be the end of that episode. As always, thanks for watching. If you guys have a question or comment, drop it down below if you dig the episode give it a thumbs up if you like the channel subscribe and if you want to financially support the growing success of this channel my patreon is listed below in the link in the description thanks and i'll see you next time